This is Edinbane Pottery. The pottery was established by my father and myself in 1972 and uh, I've been playing with mud ever since. We worked together, three of us, Andreas, a German lad who's been here 10 years, my wife Julie and myself, Stuart Watley. Uh, we work all year building up a range of pots uh, which people are able to come and look at and also see us at work at whatever we're doing at a given time. Uh, we have wheels next to the gallery so if we're working on a on a throwing session people can watch us, if we're putting handles on people can watch us and so on. Uh, we really like seeing people and we're very grateful for the whole support we've had over the years to be able to carry on. In the pottery uh, we produce a range of glazes uh, and they're fired in three different kilns. The bulk of our work since 1980 has been wood fired. This pot has no decoration on the outside, it's just the fine ash from the wood fire landing on the pot, becoming toasty as it fires. It's dead simple. Now we use that same wood ash effect in our ranges. Here we have wood ash which sort of frames the, the Blue Waves range, which this is. Uh, we also use it on rims of our uh, ebb and flow range, which is a core glaze range. Now you can see that these two pots are, don't have that toastiness. They're fired in a gas kiln. This is my wife's work, Julie's work. Um, this came out of a terrible journey sailing across the Minch where she had to express her anxiety some way. And she's made these, these pots for a while in a gas kiln. <clears throat> we also have a salt glaze kiln. Uh, traditionally, salt glaze was used for making sewer pipes, which were a bit like this. But we also use it more decorously, uh, using thin glazes and then putting them in the salt kiln. The salt is added towards the end of the firing and the sodium in the salt makes a glaze with the surface of the clay. So that's our ranges. Here we have one of our little gas kilns. Uh, this is Andreas's work. Uh, it's been fired, he's partly unloaded it, but you can see how we stack things. Also it's interesting to show the difference before and after. This is the finished ebb and flow salt shaker and this is it before it goes in the kiln. It's quite a contrast. Out of interest too, these are we measure the temperature by using pyrometric cones. These, this is what it's like when it starts. We look at it through a spy hole in the door and we can see them bending over and that tells us that the glazes will be melted properly. 